Today, I'm going to show you the three biggest mistakes that you can make whenever you choose to play roulette. By avoiding these three things, you can instantly improve the chances of winning your spins and minimize the casino's house edge. Hopefully, after this video, you'll be a more profitable player, cashing out wins more often, and whenever you see someone at the table making these mistakes, you'll be able to educate them and teach them how to become a better player as well. So, with that out of the way, let's dive straight into the first mistake that I always see people making whenever they first start playing roulette. The first thing I've seen other people do wrong is when they try to invent their own strategies and decide to take bets that are simply not favorable for the player under any circumstances. No matter what strategy or system you're using, there are a number of bets that you should simply never take under any circumstances. The first of these is found only on an American roulette wheel. Since there are two zeros on the wheel, as well as the first three numbers, placing a bet here on the first street and zeros places your bet on five different numbers. Since the payout for any individual number is 36 times, dividing 36 by 5 gives you 7.2. This means the casino should give you $6.20 for every $1 that you bet here. Since this can make the math harder for the casino to calculate, they simply decide to remove the extra 20 cents per dollar win and only pay out $6 for each $1 bet. This means instead of the 5.23% house edge that American Roulette normally has, it increases to a nearly 8% house edge. The other mistake I've seen when people are using some roulette strategies is placing your bet on two opposing outside bets. In some types of roulette games, you're required to place a bet before you can spin the wheel and observe any results. In order to accomplish this, a single small outside bet can be used. While you may think that placing two small bets on both opposing outside bets would be safer, as that way you're pretty much guaranteed to win your money back, and while that appears to be true on the surface, the reality is that if any of the zeros hit, you'll end up losing double your original bet whilst there exists no possibility that you could ever recover that loss. Placing a single outside bet will mean that you will lose about half the time and win about the other half of the time. This should hopefully keep your bankroll hovering around even. By doubling the outside bets, you are effectively choosing to place a bet with double the existing house edge, and so you should always avoid these types of bets whenever possible. The second thing that I see people doing wrong is playing either the wrong type of roulette or playing roulette at the wrong places. What do I mean by this? Well, as roulette has been played for over three centuries now, many people have attempted to create new variations or unique rule sets for their casino. These variations can include versions of roulette that have multiplier hot numbers, where a specific number's winnings is increased to say 50 or 100 times if the ball were to land on it on that spin. In order to compensate for these increased winnings, the game will generally have some other form of increasing the house edge in almost all other regards such as lowering payouts or preventing certain bets. If you see some flashy new version of roulette claiming to give bigger wins and more multipliers, then that means the casino has some way of making it even more unfair for the players, so you should always avoid these types of games. Simply stick to the classic versions of American or European roulette as they will give you the biggest probabilities of walking away a winner. Secondly, I see many people choosing to play American roulette when European options are available. Now, if you're at a casino, casino and the only options that they offer are American Roulette, then it's perfectly reasonable to play it. But with the wide variety of places attempting to get you gambling at their casino, many places will offer European Roulette as well. This one simple decision will literally halve the chances of you losing your bets regardless of where they're placed. It is almost never worth it to play American Roulette unless you are okay with a sub-optimal strategy. If you want to maximize your chances of winning, I highly recommend looking into online casinos. While there are some shady sites out there, there are plenty of certified and perfectly legitimate websites that because they don't need to pay worker salaries, real estate costs, and other overheads, they can afford to provide their players with a higher variety of games that have a lower house edge than you could ever find at an in-person casino. Most of these online casinos will also offer some additional bonuses whenever you sign up and deposit, which is something that an in-person casino would never provide. For this reason, I almost always choose to play at online casinos rather than a physical one. I know a lot of people believe that these sites will somehow cheat or otherwise
otherwise be unfair, but that's why it's extremely important that you only play at casinos that are certified and openly regulated. If you are looking for some of these casinos, then I'll leave a link in the description that has a full list of all the casinos that I've used for my videos and that are completely fair and safe to use. Choosing to play American Roulette instead of European Roulette is simply one of the worst mistakes that you can make whenever choosing to gamble. If you are choosing to use your own money to play, then I firmly believe that you should be able to choose what version of the game you would prefer to play, as you are the one that's already at the disadvantage and shouldn't be forced into playing an even less favorable game with double the chances of losing. Now, while I've left this point until last, it is possibly the most common and most detrimental mistake that I see players making. Without proper consideration of your money management, you are doomed to fail before you have even placed your first bet. No matter what strategy or system you are using, roulette is always going to be a game with a house edge of about 2.7% for European wheels or 5.3% for American wheels. This means that the longer you play, the higher the possibility of you losing more and more. In order to avoid this, you should always set a goal before you begin playing any strategy. Setting a goal like winning a total of $100 or doubling your bankroll or any other set finishing point will allow you to more accurately assess your current progress and prevent getting too greedy. After you've decided how much you want to win, you can decide how much you're willing to risk in order to achieve this goal. For example, if you want to win $100, you could walk up with a total bankroll of $80. Once you've achieved your goal, goal of winning $100, you can then walk away knowing that you've received your target profit. If you don't manage to win, then that's okay because you decided at the beginning that you were willing to pay $80 to take the chance of winning 100. But if you were to withdraw another $80 now and tried to reach your goal, then suddenly risking $160 for a $100 win doesn't seem like a good investment. Thinking of gambling in this way is one of the most beneficial things that you can do. Before placing any bet, say to yourself in your head, okay, I'm going to lose a certain amount so that I can attempt to win another amount. This way, if you do lose, you haven't actually lost any more money as you had already decided at the beginning that you were going to pay that certain amount for the chance to win your desired goal. This will prevent you from running back to the ATM and withdrawing even more cash, attempting to recover your losses and ultimately resulting in an even bigger loss. But with that said, that's all that I've got for you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you learned something new or it improved your roulette strategy, then please make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It really helps this channel out. If you've got a roulette strategy, a piece of fan art or something else that you'd like me to see, leave a comment down below and I'll check it out. But other than that, I wish you guys the best of luck out there. Hopefully you can use these tips to become an even more profitable gambler. Thank you for watching and good luck out there guys.